Hey, hello, Zbigniew Fukowski here and today in Power Ups we will be looking at drop downs and more general at the items property of your controls. So basically what I see the most cases the drop downs are used with hard coded values. So if I have a drop down, I have uh, one, two, three and null because I allowed the empty selection option here. I can have the null. If I select the tool, the null will disappear and in order to the null to appear again, I have to select my value again. This is the allow anti selection in the dropdown. Useful thing to consider. But it's not the case. Basically, I can have my hard coded values as the dropdown and to use those strings elsewhere as selected values. But in most of the cases, I don't want the hard coded values. If you want only those, you can close this video now. I want to use my data which is gathered elsewhere. For example, in my collection. In my collection, I want to have the names visible. The, this is my collection. It's uh, Those are board games, more specifically one of my favorite board games, and I will collect those to a collection from my database. And now I'm I'm in the dropdown, I'm displaying names of games I have in my collection. For example, Everdell. Yay! My name appeared. But I do it in the not the best manner I could. I can use instead of the dot notation Sorry, maybe let's try it from the other angle. I want that Coimbra, uh, that Coimbra record to have the label I have already in, in place, and that I want that the uh, I want to show the price of this label. So the dropdown I have, which is one one, then I select it. And I have selected only the name. As you can see at the dot notation, only the name is visible here because I've narrowed my search only to the, uh, the names. I can select only Coimbra name. I want to select the price. I want to see the price here. Why not? I have no access to this uh, value. Name is not valid. The identifier isn't recognized. But come on, I'm using this from a record. I have the record here. My drop-down source is collection which have the record. I want to have the access to this field. And this is the thing I see in many, many cases. You just have to drop this name and stop narrowing your drop-down. And you, you want to have you want to go to the right ribbon and select the value in here to the name, it's already pre-selected, but you can use any value from here. We want to sell, have the name because it's easy to it's easiest to search by the name. I have ever selected and now my price is visible for me. I have all the information containing the record because I did not narrow my search. I use all the collections, but in the value I'm just presenting, I'm just showing the column of the name. Same thing I can also achieve when I'm show, uh, using the show columns, but I have to show the, all of the columns which are which I will be using in the future. So it may uh, narrow your search by all those columns, but at least you won't be accessing all the records and providing all the information. If you know which columns you will use in the past, you can go with this this solution. I do not recommend it, uh, basically standard, standardly you want to use the, uh, use the normal one with all the information, so just skip this and use the, your collection and specify which column you want to show here in the value, but you will keep all the information about the record which you can use in 
in after selection. For example, it could not be a label, it could be a text input with the default of this price and on the change you can change the price of your game and then patch it to the database because you have selected the game which records information is visible for you. So that's it. Thanks. I hope I've helped you and if I do, you know the real like, subscribe, etc. If not, just have a good day. <laughs> that's all. See you. Bye.